Welcome to Math 99. My name is Chuck Devanji. I'm um, your instructor for this course. We get to work together here at Wacom, and uh, I've been an adjunct faculty member here at Wacom for about 25 years. Um, I also teach math in the pub Bellingham Public Schools. I've been doing that for a little bit longer uh, than that as well. So um, Math 99 this is a fun course. We get to use WAMAP. I really like WAMAP. Uh, a lot as a shell. I think it's, it's the best uh, coursework for math specifically that I've seen and um, allows me to write good test questions. Um, it allows us to type back and forth in math. Um, I, I enjoy it. So uh, you've seen this screen before because you're here. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit just about layout of the course, expectations, and using WAMAP just a little bit and then let me get started. Announcements are here. Uh, you, this here's our first announcement. You've probably seen that. These will come in every week. I might add something in new um, if I post something that I think is important. Um, so take a look here, course announcements. And um, you've already looked at the getting started section because you're watching uh, this video in structure of the course. And let's go ahead and take a look then at, um, at our syllabus. So I'm going to look in resources for syllabus. I have it in a couple places, but let's take a peek at this. And I'm not going to read the whole syllabus to you, but I just want to emphasize, uh, highlight a couple of pieces. Grading scale. Um, one important note, and this is an important note. Actually, there's two here that I think are important. The class ends at the final. The final is the last day of class. And any work that you want to submit, even if you're going to lose late, late passes, must be submitted by 11.59 uh, the day before the final. So make sure that you uh, plan for that. And also, you will get six late passes. Uh, late passes extend the due date for a practice or a timed quiz. Those are the things you can use late passes on. There. They, they can't be used on forums. Um, the, like I said, the midterm, I mean exams, or the final. Here's categories. Here's how um, grade's going to break down. Uh, there's homework. There's assignment with each section that we work on. I don't collect it. It's your practice. I strongly suggest you do the practice. Uh, we have exams and final. There are uh, different dates. Make sure that you are marking when these dates are so that you don't miss them. Uh, also, uh, these will happen online, and I really suggest that you submit scratch work. You can just take a picture of, of your scratch work and, and email it to me or message it to me in, in WAMAP. That lets me give extra, uh, partial credit where it's earned. If the question is just wrong and I don't see the work, it's zero points. So that will really help. It's not a requirement. I super suggest that you do it. OK, uh, practice quizzes and forums. So I'll talk about forums first. In forums, you just basically answer a prompt. So if I look in week one, um, under where it says quizzes and forums, and this will, the weeks will be laid out like this. There's a forum here. There's a prompt. I want you to uh, respond to it. And then once it gets populated, uh, you, you'll reply to at least one other person's prompt, one other person's uh, submission that they made as well. Practice quizzes. Uh, practice quizzes are not timed. So you just have to have them done by the end of the due date. You can start them really early. Um, and... You, you get multiple attempts, four tries on each question on the practice quizzes. It's really practice. Um, start early, give them a go, send me questions about it. They're due by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. So you do a practice quiz, and then that helps inform you for the time quiz that you take a little bit later. Time quizzes are timed. You have two hours to get them done, two consecutive hours. So you have to do it in one sitting. Um, and... Time quizzes are a lot, lot, lot like the practice quizzes. Um, so if you're if you've done that practice quiz, feeling really good on it, you'll be able to do the time quiz just fine. Uh, same thing with time quizzes. Two hours, you get you only get three attempts on questions for the time quizzes. I really want this to be feedback for you um, as you as you uh, as you're getting in it. Hey, uh, again, they need to be completed by 11:59, and that's a hard end. So if you start the test at 10 p.m., um, even, uh, or like not even 10 p.m., how about at 11 p.m., <laughs> um, you, do, you won't get two hours on it. You, it's a two-hour test, but it has to be done by 11.59. It's hard. A couple notes, um, round to three decimal places. If it doesn't say otherwise, that's just a good 
uh, practice or give the exact answer. You know, square root of two is a good answer. Um, it's not the answer to everything. If you've ever feel you've been shortchanged on a question, you're, you're sure you got it right, it's grade wrong. There's an auto grader that, that grades it right away. And I go back after the due date and I look and I make sure that the auto grader didn't make a mistake. So feel free to message me and go, hey, I think this is right. And I'll either say, yeah, it is, I gave you credit. Or I'll say, no, it's wrong, um, you know, try this on. Okay, so there's syllabus. Another thing I want you to uh, think about is the course calendar. This is huge. Um, notice it says it's printable, but I have the whole course laid out for you. No surprises, you will know when anything is due. So if you look, here it is, week one, get started. We're doing that right now. 2.5, like things like this, 11.1.1, these are sections uh, from the textbook. So there's a video lecture associated with these and then practice problems. So for example, if I go back and look at week, these are a sections, 2.5. There's a video lecture, you can click there and watch the lecture, listen to me talking more. And then these are the problems out of the book that I want you to, to give a go to. Things that are italicized are, are things that are due. So form one is due by Wednesday. The responses to form one are due on Friday. And then practice quiz 1A is due on Friday as well. There's a little key down here talking about what that means. Things that are bold are exams. So exam one is on um, October 10th. Exam two is on November 7th. The final is here. And in, I'll talk about those in a moment. So anyways, this is printable. Print this out. Never, ever, ever miss a due date because this is printable. And work ahead. Like this week three stuff is going to get released on Wednesday. So you, if you, uh, if you put everything to the last minute, you know, it's your life. You make your decisions. But uh, if you work ahead, you're going to be really in good shape for this class. All right. Uh, so to contact me, um, go to messages in WAMAP and you can message me. So uh, send you a message, send it to me. Here's what I like about um, messaging here. I just stuff, I have a question. You can type your stuff to me, but then if you wanna type math in here, um, there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm just gonna click on this, the Sigma with the plus add new math and you get this inside those. So let's say I want to say 5 plus x squared um, divided by the square root of y. It types it like that. Like we can communicate so well about math uh, in, in these messages. This happens in the forums as well. And uh, what's great is there is, in resources, a section in here using using WAMAP, uh, math in WAMAP. So, and ways to enter in those equations in the forums or uh, symbol summary, symbol summary, which shows you ways to type different things in WAMAP. Take a look at that document as well. Do, okay, late passes. Um, I allow late passes in here. You get six, each student gets six. Syllabus again. In here it says you get six late passes. Late passes extend the date on, um, time quizzes and practice quizzes only. You cannot use them on forums and you can't use them on, on exams. So here's is the part about six late passes are granted um, and you can get at them through the grade book. If you're not sure how, um, I, there's a video or you can just message me. And one other important note I wanna make, uh, this class ends at the final. Um, that's why they call it a final. So. All work, uh, if you, even if you're going to be using late passes, must be submitted by 11.59 p.m. the day before the final exam. So that, that Tuesday of the final, that Monday night's the last day that anything can get turned in um, after that. And then also, after I grade the final, um, that's, that's it. So if I get a message that's like, hey, um, what can I do now that the final's done? Hey, it's pretty much nothing. The, the class is over. Contact me during the class. I will work with you during the class. So while the class is going on, contact me, ask me questions. Um, my job is to make sure that you need, that you know what you need to be able to know to, to complete this course. And I take it seriously. I'm, I'm here to help you. That being said, message me um, through the course with any questions. If you go to the forums, um, 
you can post questions in there as well. I'll have a forum that's questions for instructor. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you all. Please send me questions. Uh, let me know how things are going for you. And um, I will talk to you through the course, hopefully.